Indra all of you for the grand launch of Indra. Can we all see that on stage? First of the Arya, written by our young author Abhijit, who's just 14 years old. Amazing job! Thank you. Magic, creating literary magic with his words, and today we are here to proudly launch his book. I would like to invite Abhijit and today's chief guest, the national best-selling author Kevin Russell, onto the stage. This is just a bit better. Thank you so much, Kevin. We should slowly move on to the moment that all of us have been waiting for the unreal yeah. unveiling of the book. Are we excited? Yes. I would like to invite Satya Sir and Somi Ma'am to the stage as well, along with the family, please. Are you ready, please, Kevin? Let's have some countdown. 10, 9, 8, do it please. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good, very good. Lovely. Very good. Shall good, good. My lord, a bell has been disturbing the local villagers. He killed two soldiers right now. You idiots can't even kill a bull, snorted Mitra. But my lord, what? Mitra was confused. But then he remembered. Cattle were considered sacred in our river. Cows were worshipped like goddesses. Cows were agnya, that is, they couldn't be killed. Oh, for the God's sake. Mitra removed his shawl. He tightened his dhoti, wore his sandals and walked out into the darkness. Not seeing the bull anywhere, he inquired. Where's the damn beast? Two soldiers pointed out a hole in the wall. The thorn bushes had been torn apart, probably in agony from the thorns. Get my horse. A guard went to untether Mitra's horse. Sitting comfortably on the brocade saddle, he thought of a sword. Get my sword. Most soldiers in the Sapta Sindhu preferred having a curved blade with one edge on it. It was lighter, easily wielded with one hand and was comfortable on horseback. Mitra, however, preferred a double-edged, pointed and straight sword. Curved swords were suitable for thrusting, but straight, pointed blades go well for stabbing. Mitra unsheathed the swords, threw down the scabbard and went after the hoof prints and dung trail. Mitra continued for a mile or so in the southwest direction. He reached a hill and stopped his horse. On the base of the hill, a small town was present. Looking closely, he realized that they didn't have the typical Persian features of white skin and hooked noses. They looked, they looked like monkeys. That was the word Mitra had thought of. They had upturned noses, dark skin, fur-like thick hair, and a few even seemed to have tails. Their disfigured jaws and hairless upper lips made them look like mixtures of lions and lagoos. Vanars, thought Mitra. The Vanars were a tribe that lived in southern Ar River. They lived around Mount Rishimuk, Lake Pampa, and the Tungabhadra River. They had high rates of a type of mutation, resulting in disfigured jaws, tails, and extra fingers and toes. However, Vanar physicians were well equipped to make the disease non-lethal. The Vanars worshipped Lord Hanuman and the forces of nature. Their banner had a monkey on it. That would explain the bull, thought Mitra. Since cows were sacred in the Sapta Sindhu, the Vanars allowed the bull to terrorize them. Mitra rode into the village. The scene that greeted him was not one of joy. Dead bodies were being cremated. Hymns to Lord Yam, Lord Shiva and the dead were being chanted. Seeing the mounted warrior, a few men moved aside. A mother who was cremating her young son watched with tearful eyes as Mitra dismounted, bowed low and began to pray for the dead Vanar's soul. How long will you face the torture of this beast? Asked Mitra in Sanskrit. He hoped that the Vanars might know the ancient language. He got a response from an old man. We are from the Sapta Sindhu. We can't just kill a bull. Lord Krishna killed the bull, Vats, said Mitra. But we're not Lord Krishna. It is a warrior's duty to protect the meat. I can't just let you die, not on my watch, said Mitra. Saying so, he picked up his sword and asked, Where is the beast? The old man stared in awe at the amazingly fit body of the warrior. He pointed to a field. The gigantic, hulking beast slowly ate the wheat, almost as if it was taunting the one who grew the crops. The beast was nearly six and a half feet tall. He had massive, peat-long horns on the side of his head. 
The horns didn't curve but went straight and bent in the middle, then recurved to show long tips just above the beast's eyes. A band of five archers would have struggled to take on the beast. Mere arrows wouldn't injure its hide. The hump on its back was reminiscent of the zebu. However, the dewlap, very typical of the zebus, was missing. It grunted. Mitra was awestruck at the magnificence of the beast. He knew that the bull was not an ordinary zebu. Orox, thought Mitra. Mitra contemplated sneaking up from behind. No, he thought. There was no bravery in that. He had to set an example. Finally facing real competition, he decided to wrestle the bull, a fight to the death. The Vrish against the Narv Rishabha. The bull against the bull among men. Mitra roared. The bull snorted and ignored it. Mitra roared again. This time, it was louder. The bull turned and looked at the intruder. Mitra burst into a run and threw his sword on the ground. The clang of the metal startled the bull as he ran towards the new threat. Mitra sidestepped and avoided the point of the horns. The bull, maddened with testosterone and angry at being duped, increased its pace and tried to gut Mitra. Mitra sidestepped and grabbed hold of the hump that was the bull's blind spot. Desperately struggling to escape the unseen threat, the bull started shaking violently. This would have made an ordinary man fall face first and get trampled by the beast. But Mitra was no normal man. He was the bull amongst men. He held on. The Vanars watched in awe. They had read about the game played in the Vanar homeland that was known as Jalikattu. In it, a bull with gold horns tied at its horns was released and a man struggled to hold on to its hump. Mitra made the bull exert itself. His strategy was to exhaust it so Mitra could kill it quickly. Sure enough, the bull sat down some minutes later and tried to regain its breath. Mitra dismounted and made the bull chase him. However, the exhausted beast was strolling towards Mitra. Mitra quickly changed position, sidestepped, pirouetted and picked up his sword. The bull, exhausted, sat down with an audible thump. He sensed that the man had got what he came for. It was partially true. The man had got what he came for. He went close to the bull. Forgive me, apologized a teary-eyed Mitra. The regret and guilt of having such a, of killing such a magnificent animal took over the bravery and manliness of having to kill such a mighty beast. However, he steeled himself. He wiped the tears from his eyes. He had to set an example. Tears had to be hidden. He gripped the blade tightly. The bull was sitting in the mud very quietly. It didn't protest at the closeness of the human. It behaved almost like a little calf. It seemed to sense that its end was near, making it all the more difficult for Mitra to do the deed. He grabbed onto the hump, startling the beast. It stood up and shook. Mitra stabbed the beast in the gut. Mitra would be crushed under 2,000 pounds of pure rage if it rolled over. The agonized beast fell to the ground on the side where the sword was embedded. Its falling led to the sword going deeper and piercing the beast's lungs, ribs, heart and ultimately spine. The fall allowed Mitra to go away. He waited for the beast to die. Finally, it sputtered blood in a final cough and went to the elements. Mitra rode to announce his success. The villagers were finally free from the menace. What is your name, great warrior? inquired the Vanar headman. I am Mitra. Meet your savior, Ahura Mitra. Ahura was the Avestan title for deified heroes or concepts. Ahura Mazda or Lord Wisdom was the supreme god of the Persians. Asura and Ahura were the same. The Asuras were originally well-meaning people, exiled from Persia to the Sapt Sindhu. Differing customs and tongues made the Devas hostile to them. Their pointless wars carried on for centuries until the Devas exile. A legend was born, the legend of Ahura Mitra, the slayer of the bull. Thank you so much, Abhi. Everybody, that was Abhi Soni, the 382 force behind Indra, the first of Aryas. Now, there's a little bit more here going to happen. I would like to invite Kevin to give a small message to the crowd here and every every single reader who's uh, here today, later, watch today's uh, event. Please, if you have a message to share with them, please go ahead. Uh, uh, just, uh, I won't take too much of time. Uh, just, uh, just one message uh, uh, is that uh, if you are, if you want something, and uh, you feel that you have the, the 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 right support for it, and you feel that you have the right uh, uh, people around you. I think uh, go for it, and even if you don't have the people around you, still go for it. At the end of the day, what matters is that you have to, uh, uh, you know, Abhivi shows us resilience and uh, how perseverance as a writer works and uh, uh, creates. 
uh, and hopefully uh, he, he becomes one of the uh, the, the best sellers of uh, india so i would uh, you know like to say you uh, i hope you become one of the young, one of the only youngest uh, best seller of india and we will make sure as publishers that will happen so yeah thank you so much sir national district judge bedo at rajasthan high court prepare for a good closing statement by mr satya thank you for the hits thank you uh, new voice thank you kevin and uh, thank you all aap sab log aaye hain closing मैसेज मुझे देना था क्वेश्चंस uh, भी आए एक दो क्वेश्चंस भी आए कि इमेजिनेशन या क्रिएटिविटी कहाँ से आती है क्या क्या आती है कब आती है किस टाइम लिखते हो बीइंग माय सेल्फ ए राइटर एक चीज़ उर्दू शायरी के अंदर एक चीज़ कही जाती है कि जब शेर आते हैं तो उसको बोलते हैं कि आमद होती है शेर की आमद होती है ऊपर से होती है वो वो ऊपर वाला भेजता है उन शेरों को तो वो शेरों की आमद जिस टाइम होती है उस वक्त ही होती है उसके बाद आप चाहे कितना भी जोर लगा लें आप शेर नहीं कह पाते मेरे उस्ताद यहाँ बैठे हैं तो मैं उनका भी जिक्र करना चाहूँगा तो जब शेर की आमद होती है जब आपकी इमेजिनेशन आनी शुरू होती है ऊपर से उस टाइम पे आपको कोई नहीं रोके और उस टाइम पर आप लिखना कंटिन्यू करते रहें तो वो जो भी आप लिखना चाह रहे हैं वो आप कंप्लीट कर सकते हैं मैंने इसकी मदर को मैंने एक दो बार जब ये हुआ हमारे बीच में डिस्कशन किया यार ये पढ़ता नहीं है या ये ये कुछ नहीं कर रहा सिर्फ सिवाय टाइपिंग के इसके अलावा कुछ नहीं कर रहा तो मैं यही बोलता कि अभी आमद हो रही है अभी मत रोको इसको मेरा ये ये बहुत बार मतलब आई एम फीलिंग ओवर हैंड बहु को रहा हूँ लेकिन मेरे लिए ये बहुत बड़ा अचीवमेंट uh, है एज ए फादर कि ही हैज शोन सच ए गट्स कि एक बुक 300 पेज की बुक्स वो बुक को लिख के और उसको मेरे सामने उसने रखा उस दिन और सो क्लोजिंग तो यही कहूंगा कि आई थिंक आई हैव डन अ गुड जॉब एंड वी हैव डन अ गुड जॉब थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच वी हैव इंडीड डन अ अमेजिंग जॉब वी एक्सपीरियंस टुडे मैजिक विजडम इंस्पिरेशन थ्रू आवर द इवनिंग बट बिफोर वी कंक्लूड द इवेंट लेट्स एक्सप्रेस ग्रैटिट्यूड टू ब्रिंग दिस लिटरेरी सेलिब्रेशन टू अ क्लोज लेट्स हियर अ हार्ट फेल्ट वर्ड ऑफ थैंक्स फ्रॉम नन अदर देन द क्रिएटिव होम्स बिहाइंड इंद्रा फर्स्ट ऑफ द एरिया अबीर सोनी हिमसेल्फ Abhijit, hand over to you. Uh, first of all, I would like like to thank my deity, Lord Hanuman, for blessing me, uh, for blessing me with all the resources that I could actually write and get a book published. Uh, there are thousands of writers at my age who don't have a chance, who can't get published. So I would like to thank him. Next, I would like to thank my ma and daddy. my little sister fari she was the one who forced me to uh, stop the typing and now let's play <laughs> <laughs> then i would like to thank my grandparents nani sa nana ji my aunt romi sa my uncle mama tau ji for showing immense support and i'm also grateful to all my friends who are here and the teachers if they are here uh now i would like to thank kevin sir for giving me a chance and the new whole new voice publishing team for working tirelessly and also foster reads and crosswords for hosting the event Well, I'm very uh, excited to be here and promote uh, young talent. And uh, Abhi, I can understand the, the the stress and the nervousness which is on your face. But don't worry, you know, yeah, sab bhul jao ya koi hai. Ham dono baat kar rahe hain bas. Aur batao. <laughs> you know, 
great great so yeah that's it family friends other well wishers thank you all so much for coming in today and we would do not want to waste any more time of yours and we are directly moving ahead with a quick discussion between kevin and abhivi where they will tell you a little bit of background story about the book but not with any spoilers you're not getting any spoilers you'll definitely have to wait till the end of the event where you can buy the copies get it signed by uh, abhivi and even if you have any questions to ask to abhivi or kevin for that matter as soon as their discussion is over the floor is all yours to ask the questions are we good okay all over to you kevin and abhivi so <clears throat> thank you so much guys for being here on a uh, today's friday right yeah on a friday i'm sure you guys will be very busy and uh, i'm glad that uh, we all are here to support young writing and uh, young talent like abhivir hara abhivir thank you sir okay thank you but uh, yeah i am uh, very elated to be here uh, a little brief about me mai bhi 14 saal ka tha jab maine likhi thi apni kitab pehli अभी भी डिड यू नो दैट कि हम आई ऑल्सो नोट हां मैंने बड़ी बड़ी घटिया किताब लिखी थी जरा सा मैं इट वाज अ टोटल कॉपी पेस्ट ऑफ परसी जैक्सन तो उस टाइम पे उनके उसका नाम था डेविड ब्लैक द बैटल ऑफ लॉस्ट एजेस तो उस टाइम पे मैंने लिखी थी एंड मेरे सबने बोला यार क्या लिख दी क्या बकवास लिख दी एंड एवरीथिंग बट एट दैट टाइम आई यूज्ड टू थिंक दैट यार आई एम प्रोबब्ली अ वेरी गुड राइटर you know but uh, 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 i'm glad that i can see that at the same age of of mine when i wrote that time you show far better talent than i could ever so round of applause to him you know it's a we are reading his book a little bit and i was very surprised he has still likhi matlab matlab shock mein aa gaya and uh, very 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 uh, amazing man so uh, good job mr paul thank you sir this means very much to me no definitely definitely so let's uh, let's get on to it i guess thoda sa aisi baat cheet hogi and then if anyone has questions after that you know we would love to take it ha na abhi and you would love to answer as well uh, so uh, abhi the first question though uh, homework aur ye school se time kaise mila likhne ke liye sir uh, homework school mein kiya kaafi sara choda bhi maine and uh, Aar, teacher to nahi hai <laughs> and uh, i gave quite a lot of time to writing yeah. or uh, the last moment pe exams when uh, the exams were right over it then i started studying acha so so so, so, la, so last comer type ho so jaise jaise exams aate sar pe tab padhte ho yes sir that's great that's great that's great so and kab kab kaun se time pe likhte the kitab apni uh, after school after so around 5 o'clock ke around 5 to 7 8 matlab every day very good yaar yeah. matlab this just shows dedication log ya log log 5 to 7 sote hain main so sota tha 7 7 7 baje tak i used to have to sleep so that's great yeah that's great so uh, but, but then uh, summer holidays bhi you used to write us yes. time yes okay it's lovely yeah, lovely so why indra matlab indra mein itna indra ne fit tha kyun aapko ekdam se prerna mili ki aaj dikhna hai mere ko indra's character is quite unexplored and uh, he's he's made a villain in the yeah. epics mostly but his original nature in the rigved that's hidden away by his other exploits hmm to isliye matlab ki kaafi logo ko nahi pata hai इंद्रदेव के बारे में सबको विलन लगता है बट व्हाई ऐसा ऐसा विलन क्यों पोर्ट्रेट किया गया है इंद्रदेव को बिकॉज़ ऑफ हिज डीड्स इन द लेटर एजेस लेटर एजेस अच्छा अच्छा लवली लवली सो सो इस रीजन से आपको लगा आपने कुछ और लिखा था उससे पहले या सीधा इंद्रदेव पे ही मुझे लिखना था आई ट्राइड राइटिंग इन 2021 अच्छा क्या था उसके बारे में थोड़ा बताइए आई इट वाज अबाउट अ स्टोन एज ट्राइब एंड देयर एनिमीज द नियंडरथल्स I wrote about eighty-three pages, and then I deleted it. अरे वाह! What 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 age? What age? Uh, eleven or twelve. Oh my God! So and how much time did you take to write Indra? First of all, Arya's two months. Two months. Two months. My God! And every day, ah, huh? used to sit and write. I tried most every days. Every days, most every days. Lovely, yeah, lovely. तो so, ये काफ़ी लिख पाते हो कोई 
is proper primarily because uh, you get a lot of support from everyone yes you know uh, uh, young talent ko foster karne ke liye na tumko everyone should be in support of so uh, how was your support in life who was your support uh, in your life uh, definitely ma and daddy kaise kaise support kiya unne aapko uh, kya wo teacher ko batate nahi the ki uh, ye homework nahi kar raha hai मतलब पढ़ाई के लिए ज़्यादा प्रेशराइज नहीं किया और मतलब जब राइट कर रहा था तब कोशिश की कि डिस्ट्रैक्शंस ना आए और मैं बीच बीच में इंस्टाग्राम खोल लेता था मीम्स देखने लग जाता था ये सब नहीं बोलना होता इंस्टाग्राम की बात नहीं कर दी यहाँ पर वी आर लिटरेचर कम्युनिटी वेरी गुड तो अच्छा तो इंस्टाग्राम में कभी कुछ कुछ प्रेरणा दी मतलब डिड यू अदर राइटर्स से क्या आपको सीखने को मिला क्या आपको डाउन टू अर्थ रहना डाउन टू अर्थ रहना अच्छा लवली लवली एंड कौन सा कौन है कौन से ऐसे राइटर्स हैं जिनने आपको प्रेरित किया कि आई मोड राइट अनिंद्रा या पैथोलॉजी पे डेफिनेटली यू अमीश त्रिपाठी एंड हर्षित चौहान ओ लवली 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 हर्षित इज अनदर ऑथर ऑफ आज And uh, mm-hmm. उससे आपकी बुक भी पोस्ट करी थी आई गेस येस्टरडे सो वो ही वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी एक्साइटेड एंड वेरी हैप्पी यू नो कि लाइक माइंडेड पीपल लाइक माइंडेड जॉनर पर लिख रहे हैं एंड एवरी वन इज सपोर्टिंग ईच अदर आई थिंक दैट यू नो आई ऑलवेज फील कि कोलेबरेटिव एफर्ट विल मेक अ ह्यूज डिफरेंस कम्पेयर टू यू नो कि एक दूसरे से कॉम्पिटिशन करना कॉम्पिटिटिव में से कोई फायदा नहीं है है ना तो वो बात है डेफिनेटली आपकी तो अदर देन राइटिंग वॉट यू डू यार एज मतलब आई यू आई यू ऑलवेज अ राइटर या कुछ और भी आप लोग करते हो फुटबॉल शुटबॉल खेलते हो क्या आपका है मैं ड्राॅइंग करता हूँ और रीडिंग करता हूँ अच्छा ड्राॅइंग करते हो रीडिंग करते हो अच्छा एंड ड्राॅइंग में कैसा मतलब क्या मतलब स्केच है नॉल स्केच नहीं ऐसे ही रैंडम इमेजिनेशन में जो आया वो मोस्टली डूडल्स कार्टून अच्छा लवली तो थोड़ा ये बताइए कि बुक कवर जैसे था जो वो भी इलेस्ट्रेशन है वो भी डिज़ाइन हुआ हुआ है उसका क्या थॉट प्रोसेस था पापा मम्मी से क्या डिस्कस करके क्या कैसा वो जर्नी रहा है बुक कवर को पूरा क्योंकि बहुत अच्छा बुक कवर बना है तो क्या आपके था पहले ओरिजिनल दिमाग में कैसे था अब कैसा आया एंड इज इट वॉट इंस्पायर्ड यू टू क्रिएट दिस कैंड ऑफ अ बुक कवर ओरिजिनल में एक फाइट सीन आया था मेरे माइंड में लेकिन वो इतना वो अच्छा नहीं लगा था डिज़ाइन में और जो बैक प्रोफाइल है जैसे अभी है कवर पे इंद्र की बैक प्रोफाइल वैसा फिर बाद में आया था मेरे को आइडिया थोड़ा सा नो लवली एंड कितना रिसर्च करना पड़ा किताब में नो आइडिया नो आइडिया तो 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 ये पूरा ये कहाँ से आया ये आइडियाज कहाँ से आया ऋग्वेद पढ़ी थी या यू हैव रिसर्च कैसे हुआ मैंने रीड किया था थोड़ा क्वेश्चन रीड किया था थोड़े बहुत विकिपीडिया से थोड़े पुरानों से अच्छा वाल्मीकि रामायण अच्छा लवली है लवली वेरी गुड वेरी गुड एंड बाय द वे बीच में अगर किसी को क्वेश्चन पूछना है वी आर ऑलवेज ओपन टू एनी क्वेश्चंस बी इट्स वेरी कन्वर्सेशनल यू नो सो ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है कि कुछ अगर किसी को क्वेश्चन पूछना हो तो मेरे तरफ भी क्वेश्चन है एज अ राइटर अभी वीर Um, आप दिन में कितने आवर्स लिखते हो पता नहीं है जब मन करता है तो छः सात घंटे लिख लेता हूँ यू नो वेरा 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 फील लाइक राइटिंग राइट सेवन एट आवर्स एंड इफ आई इफ आई डोंट राइट आई डोंट राइट एट ऑल मैं दो दो महीने लिखता तो so, मेरा ऐसा होता है मेरा मेरा ये होता है कि एक शॉर्ट में लिख दो दैट्स वाई माई बुक्स यूजली टेक वन मंथ टू फिनिश यू नो so what what advice would you give to future writers jo bhi matlab aap se ye sab inspiration le rahe hain ye sab you know abhi sab media aaye hain log aap se baat kar rahe hain and aur bhi aapke jo friends hain yahan par and unko kya aap kya aap ek kaisa advice dena chahte ho jo writer banna chahte hain um use the sources that you have use the sources in terms of research or in terms of your friends and family both or, both both lovely yeah, lovely that's great that's great wonderful so ye yeah, any question guys for uh, for, for any of you please feel free don't be shy at all theek hai main nahi tang karunga aap logo so please we will have time for four questions only from the audience four questions yes, okay first question first question i think the gray shirt gray t-shirt yeah my only question to everybody is that what was the 
everybody is stuck at this uh, tender age and all that, uh, in so little age uh, how can a person, a person write that no and all that but my thinking is that something ha must have happened at that particular moment it is stuck into your mind that um, i should think about in ra that uh, there is something there is some friction that has to be traced now that what was that happening or moment that uh, stuck into your mind that made you think of thinking indra and then to write on him um it was when i read the rigved oh so you were interested in uh, reading all this upanishads uh, vedas and all yes and at that particular moment you thought that uh, it is something on which the research is to be done yes it is believed oh. that all the world's knowledge is uh, found uh, to be found in the rigved and i think it's quite true as modern concepts such as the big bang theory even we can find it in that a verse uh, says that there was neither existence nor non existence before creation there was neither time nor immortality nor day nor night you know that out of that we can trace that you were interested in reading first of all about the sanatan dharma that is what the tracing is yes if i'm right yes nice to know that i'm happy to see the word little body interested in the sanatan when i was nice uh, very small my grandmother used to tell me stories and uh, the mythological stories they were the most enthralling the most gripping so i used to keep her awake at night listening to more stories about ganesha about hanuman about lord krishna happy to know that and happy to know that so much happy to know that that this is not the first and last message to be carried forward in this event this is first and last message i give thanks a lot man to be grateful and So we have we have another question yeah sure so yeah here <laughs> so yeah the first of all i am really really impressed ki aap is age mein itna acha kar rahe ho and to be honest i have been trying to write for last 5 years but it is very difficult you know you get stuck at some point so now i wanted to know ki i mean were you ever reliant on some kind of the technology i mean did you use ai at some point or was it purely your written content purely my imagination purely your imagination so were you researching completely online or did you also refer some hard bound books i referred to books uh, there was one in the library called indological studies 33 year old book it was it was the first time issued by me only oh oh <laughs> wow not just this like even the issue was like only okay okay so 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 i, I mean what what was that point where you decided that you are going to sit completely and on a daily basis i mean i i think that is the most difficult part that we all face consistency what gives you consistency um i had consistency in the beginning but after 10 or so pages i got stuck and uh, i sat down again to think some more and i slept and then i woke up i had another idea and i began to write it okay. the next chapter thank you My question is for Kevin. Oh. Kevin, what's your piece of advice to the young talent? Uh, piece of advice ये ये कि advice क्या मतलब he's already following it that not to do homework and so <laughs> and <laughs> मैं भी नहीं लिखता था मैं भी मैं भी मैं भी नहीं homework करता था I remember uh, I used to write during summer holidays actually uh, and uh, during my school years. एंड समर समर होमवर्क मिलता था तो आई यूज टू ऑलवेज टेल माई मॉम एंड डैड यार आप किसी और को दे दो ये करने के लिए मुझे किताब लिखनी है एंड सो या दैट्स अबाउट एट या इफ यू एज लॉन्ग एज एडवाइज नहीं आई थिंक इज फॉलोइंग द राइट पाथ सो आई डोंट थिंक सो ही रिक्वायर्स माई एडवाइस आई थिंक यू आर द राइट पाथ मैन एंड कीप गोइंग एट इट एंड एज लॉन्ग एज यू हैव सपोर्ट ऑफ योर फैमिली ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स ऑफ पीपल अराउंड यू you know you are you are you're, you're going to shine really bright in the sky so yeah 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 of course of course please do we can take more questions i guess we have time so we can take more questions yeah uh, i think uh, i should just uh, show myself to yeah that's my wife by the way kiran yeah hi guys <laughs> but i generally have a question for everybody uh, it's not exactly a question it's just something which i'm curious about um it is a I am married to author myself who the 14 years ki umar se likh rahi hai lekin jo ye tha baba that aaj ki generation that we all know that's changing quite fast even for us 
who were like half part of this equation. So I did out of everything, Not out of point. going into gaming, out of going into uh, you know uh, probably drawing, music, something. Why did you choose to be a writer? It was because one of the most most authentic things somebody can be. And at your age, doing that, first of all, it's a hats off. Second, I really want to know how did you get like writing me. Like, they were interested in sports. They tired me out really quick. <laughs> and um, reading, I had interest in reading. I read, I've uh, read many books. And uh, drawing, I do a lot. I mean, my notebook was last page covered with drawings. Same. <laughs> and uh, writing, I don't know. It was my interest in history, mythology. The ancient scriptures. That is great. I mean, uh, first of all, many, many things that you are very much interested with the uh, art, uh, like past of our histories and everything. Uh, that's commendable. Thank and you. Second, uh, it's really not easy to write a book. Uh, now that I'm living with an author, I know it's really not. So, congratulations on that. अभी मैं आपके सारे सारे क्वेश्चंस के जितना क्लियरली आपने जवाब दिया वो सारी चीज सुन रहा था अभी मैंने इंद्रा पढ़ी नहीं है इसलिए मैं ये इसके बारे में कुछ ज्यादा नहीं ना पूछूंगा ना रिपोर्ट के बाद बात करेंगे अपन आराम से मैं ये जानना चाह रहा था कि अभी इंद्रा की लॉन्च के बाद अभी तुम्हारा क्या आगे क्या प्लान है अब तो लगता है पुराने चरित्र जो हैं उनमें से कुछ ढूंढोगे या कुछ नया या कुछ और फिक्शन वगैरह कुछ तुम्हारे दिमाग में चल रहा है जो तुमने 80 पेज लिख के बंद किए थे वो क्या था वो स्टोन एज ट्राइब के बारे में थी एक उसको कंप्लीट कब करूंगा उसका मैं सोचूंगा अभी अभी और भी प्लान कर रहे हैं मैंने एक्सपीरियंस कैसा रहा मतलब ये चलो ये अभी क्योंकि अभी प्रिंट हो गया है और पब्लिश हो गई है बुक क्योंकि ये एक बड़ा लंबा एक प्रोसेस है प्रॉपर प्रोसेस होता है वो और बहुत सारी चीजें होती हैं जैसे तुमने देखा होगा कि और कुछ जैसे इनले हम कैसे बना रहे हैं कवर पेज कैसे बन रहा है क्या हो रहा है सारी चीजें हैं तो अभी जैसे दूसरा जो वर्जन हम क्योंकि मैं तो जैसे ये चाहूँगा कि तुम जिस स्पीड से लिख रहे हो अगर दो महीने में एक किताब लिख रहे हो तो मेरे ख्याल से एक साल में एटलीस्ट तीन बुक्स तो आनी चाहिए राइट छह महीने पब्लिशिंग में भी लगते हैं चलो ठीक तो अभी नया चरित्र कौन सा आने वाला है नया चरित्र होगा या कुछ एक्जिस्टिंग ह्यूमन बीइंग्स होंगे कोई ऐसा कौन सा अब मैंने प्लान किया है इंद्र का सेकंड पार्ट और एक अग्नि पे भी चल रहा है मेरे माइंड में तो पांचों तक तो आएंगे उसमें ऐसे अग्नि से शुरू करके फिर पांचों तक जाओगे नहीं रिक्वेड वाला अग्नि हाँ � मैं वैसे तो आप सब ने अप्रिशिएट किया भी है भैया ने भी बोला इस बात पे जब हम लोग तुम्हारे इस इंटरेस्ट को देख रहे हैं कि तुम वेद पाठ जो है और वेद को जिस तरह से तुम अध्ययन कर रहे हो क्या ऐसा हो सकता है कि आगे कोई एक बुक सिर्फ वेद पे तुम अपनी तरह से आप तुम्हारे इंटरप्रेशन में very nice. Very nice. We have any more questions? I, I, I have a question. I have a question. But meanwhile, you can ask me something. If you want to ask me, Indra, ki jo, uh, 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 how did your uh, relationship uh, with your family and with your sister play in the book? कुछ वहाँ से इंस्पिरेशन आई है आपकी हाँ मैं छोटी बहन के साथ रहता हूँ तो झगड़े तो हमें बहुत होते हैं तो वो भी मैंने बुक में इंक्लूड करने की कोशिश की है एक आज जगह और पेरेंट्स के साथ भी मेरा बहुत कुछ कुछ ऐसे कैरेक्टर हैं जो पेरेंट्स से या किसी आपके नॉन से आपने इंस्पायर होके ये पुट इट इन अच्छा तो ये नहीं यार ये तो बोल गया तो ये तो आप उनका उनका नाम नहीं ले सकते या कैरेक्टर रिवील नहीं कर सकते दोनों ही नहीं कर सकता थोड़ा कंट्रोवर्शियल हो जाएगा अच्छा ऐसी ऐसी एरी में राइटर्स ब्लॉक आई बिशोर आता होगा आपको है ना बीच में आ रखा है कई बार तो इंस्टाग्राम जाते हो राइटर्स ब्लॉक पे 
थोड़ा सा Uh, ऐसे बीट करते हो आप ह्यूमर मीम्स मीम्स है ह्यूमर से सो आई एम गुड यार वेरी गुड वेरी गुड एनी वे हां एनी सो एनी क्वेश्चंस गाइस एनीवन कुछ पूछ रहा हूं परी इफ यू वांट टू आस्क एनीथिंग पूछ रहे नहीं चलो हां Uh, I don't think creativity is required. You just free write and then edit later. बात सही है, बात सही है, बिल्कुल सही है. So the I I तो but I think he's being too modest. I'm telling you, uh, it is very tough to write. Even the first draft, editing editing हाँ definitely polish कर दी थी ये work को. But वो जो starting का draft बनाना and writing 200, 300 pages long. I mean, his book is almost uh, 300 pages long. Now, 300 pages. Well, I have never thought in my life that I will write at this age. So, no, I, I think he is being too modest. You know, definitely. Okay, have yeah. more questions? Yeah. 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 Yeah.